And good morning everybody from the News Channel 5 Network. I'm Amy Watson with your morning headlines. The National Hurricane Center says Dorian is now a Category 3 storm with winds at 120 miles per hour. It does remain stationary north of the Grand Bahamas Island, roughly 100 miles east of West Palm Beach. Dorian is the strongest storm to ever strike the Bahamas and is blamed for at least five deaths. Forecasters say it's expected to weaken over the next few days, but the east coast of Florida could be hit next. Mandatory evacuations are in effect. The Antioch church shooter will head back to court this morning. A jury found Emmanuel Sampson guilty of first degree murder, giving him a sentence of life in prison back in May. Now he's set to face 42 other charges, including multiple att counts of attempted murder. News Channel 5 will be live in the courtroom this morning. You can stick with us on air and on line for updates. That hearing, by the way, starts at 9. Today marks the start of a huge project on the I-24 westbound off ramp at Hickory Hollow Parkway. That ramp's going to be closed for reconstruction. The unique crisscross design allows two directions of traffic to temporarily cross to opposite sides of the road in order to travel across the overpass and then cross back and resume the original traffic pattern. This project will last through February of 2020. Now let's get a check on our forecast. Here's Leland. All right, we continue to keep an eye on what's happening down in uh, the Atlantic with uh, w w what is happening with Dorian. For us, our tranquil weather will continue. Here now, look at your seven day forecast. Highs hitting the upper 80s to low 90s today. Normal high would be around 86, 87 in Nashville today. Then over the next couple of days, still in the 90s, a cold front is going to come through. Temperatures fall back a little bit. The evenings will be great at the end of the week.